You've picked Printcast. Excellent choice. To get started, give your cast a name. In this case, we'll call this Awesome Print. Simply go next once you've given it a title, and then select the file and browse to where your image is on your computer. In this case, we're going to pick the scan image and go open. The system will analyze your image to let you know how good it is to be able to proceed or not. In this case, this will work. Let's go create. Once you're in the system, you can see you can rotate camera with the left mouse button, you can pan camera with the right mouse button, and you can zoom with the mouse wheel. Let's add a video. Simply go to video, go select file, pick the video that you want, you can play it to make sure it's the right video in the preview window, and just go upload video. Once it's in the system, you can move it around. You can scale it by grabbing this middle ring, move it back and forth with the green arrow, move it left and right with the red, and move it up and down with the blue. You can also transform it by grabbing the nodes here, which will snap it to 45, or you can rotate it freeform like so. If you don't like where you've put it, you can use the, the undo and redo buttons. In this case, we'll just put it right back down to the, the beginning. You can also add images and buttons, text, 360 images, audio, video, 3D objects, and you can use Sketchfab. What you do with Sketchfab is you create a free account and you can pick from 500,000 free models. Think of it as free 3D clip art. On the right side, you'll find your user profile once you create an account. You'll, you'll create that upon save. This is where you can add a new cast, view your cast that you've previously made, look at the cast properties, undo, redo, preview your cast after you've saved, and save. Once you hit the save button and go save and publish, it will ask for your email address and you'll find further instructions then.